Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of arrays. This is standard 3.4D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 20 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. Let's look at our answers together. So we have six photographs on each page of the album, and then one of, of these pages is shown below. So you see we've got two rows, and then each row has got three columns. And so, as we can easily see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six photos on this page, just like it says right up here. The reason this is called an array is because it has rows and columns. Arrays are in rows and columns. And that's an easy way to multiply because if I didn't want to just count one, two, three, four, five, six, whenever you see an array, you can multiply the number of rows times the number of columns, and it's going to get you the total number in that array. This is where multiplication becomes very simple and very useful. So how many photographs are there on nine pages of the album? So we've got one page here. So I'm just going to draw some additional pages. And I'm just going to kind of draw them like this. I'm just going to kind of go really fast. And I'm just going to do the same thing to where I've got uh, three columns and then two rows. And so I'll add a room here. And so I'll just kind of pick it up over here. It doesn't really matter if they're the same size. What I'm doing is I am counting the number of squares on each page. Not really too worried about the accuracy of each uh, square and if they're the same size. So if I count, I've got the one right here, and then I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we go. I've got my nine pages. Now, there's several things I can do here. I need to count how many photographs are on nine pages. So first we have to make sure we count this first page. I don't need to draw nine additional pages. I only need to draw eight additional pages because I've already got one pictured. I could, if I wanted to, count every single square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to my answer, but that is going to get kind of tedious. What I need to see here is that each of these are sets of six. So I'm just going to put a little six in a circle to so, show that I don't really need to count one by one because each of these are sets of six. Let me see if I can get that six right over there. There we go. Each of these are sets of six. And I could use multiplication again if I figure out, well, how many sets of six do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine sets of six. So this comes back to, do I know my multiplication facts? Nine sets of six. If you don't know what nine times six is, you've got a few options. You can count every single square. That would work. Or you can um, just count nine sets of six, and you could just do a repeated addition. Right, so there's five sets of six, and there's four sets of six, and so if you wanted to add those up, you could do that. And I just did five and four because that makes nine. I don't feel like doing all nine together. That's going to get me 30, and that's going to get me 24. But if I don't know my nines, I might not know my sixes. But either way, our answer is going to be 54. And if you want to double check, just touch every single square. Realize that your answer is 54. Now, how do we get some of these incorrect answers? Well, 48, that's 8 times 6. So this mistake comes if you just count the 8 additional pages and you don't include the one that's already on the page. 8 times 6 is 48, so we don't need that. 45 is most likely someone trying to remember uh, 9 times 6, and they just flip the digits. They did 4, 5 instead of 5, 4. And then finally... 15. Well, guess what? If I don't know this multiplication problem, if I just see there's two numbers, a 9 and a 6, guess what I'll do if I add them? You're going to get 15. That's the other incorrect answer. 